evening, we begin tonight with the inauguration of Donald Trump, who is now the 45th President of the United States. In his inaugural address, he fiercely vowed to uphold America First policy and protect it from other countries. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. In his first address to the nation, President Trump said his number one goal is to give power to the people. We are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. He vowed to inspire a new national pride by protecting America. We must protect our borders from the ravages of other countries making our products, stealing our companies, and destroying our jobs. Then he painted an ominous portrait of the nation and warned the world he won't allow America to be pushed around. Mothers and children trapped in poverty, rusted out factories, scattered like tombstones across the landscape and the crime and the gangs and the drugs for many decades we've enriched foreign industry at the expense of american industry subsidized the armies of other countries while allowing for the very sad depletion of our military this american carnage stops right here and stops right now and he's confident of his plans to secure peace for america we will reinforce old alliances and form new ones and unite the civilized world against radical islamic terrorism which we will eradicate completely from the face of the earth then he closed with a message calling for unity we must speak our minds openly Debate our disagreements honestly, but always pursue solidarity. When America is united, America is totally unstoppable. Together, we will make America strong again. And yes, together, we will make America America great again. again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Donald Trump quickly assumed the mantle of president, signing an executive order to weaken Obamacare. The order appears aimed at undoing the requirement that individuals must carry medical insurance or face fines. More on that from Alan Buchnia. Flanked by Vice President Mike Pence and White House Chief of Staff Ranks Priebus, Trump first signed the commissions of incoming Defense Secretary James Mattis and Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly. He then signed an order that directs federal agencies to grant waivers, exemptions, and delays in provisions of the Affordable Care Act, known as Obamacare. It's just the opening salvo of the law Trump has vowed to repeal. But it may not have much impact this year because the rules have already been incorporated in contracts signed by insurance companies. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Then, along with First Lady Melania, who was outside the Capitol building, for the traditional review of the troops at the start of the inauguration parade. The couple watched the parade from a viewing stand near the White House. The route was lined with crowds of supporters and a separate crowd of anti-Trump protesters lined up on another side of the route behind police lines. Following the parade, the Trumps did a walkabout down Pennsylvania Avenue with their son, Barron. The busy day was capped off by three separate balls. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to present to you the 45th President of the United States, Donald J. Trump.
and the First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump. Well, we did it. We did it. We began this journey and they said we, we and me, we didn't have a chance, but we knew we were going to win. And we won. And it was the first dance for the new president and first lady to her rendition of My Way. Alan from the FTVB News. Protests against Donald Trump's presidency unfolded across the United States, around the world, most of them peaceful. But in the U.S. Capitol, it was a different story. James Aiken with more. While formality and pageantry were on display on Capitol Hill, it was rage and violence just a few blocks away. Protesters set fires and hurled bricks in a day-long assault. At points, police in riot gear used pepper spray and stun grenades to prevent the chaos from spilling into Trump's formal procession and evening balls. Further away from the National Mall, police chased protesters who smashed business windows as they denounced Trump and capitalism. The clashes led to more than 200 arrests. Several police officers suffered minor injuries. We respect the rights of people to gather uh, and to protest peacefully in Washington, D.C., uh, but we will not tolerate violence and vandalism and the destruction of our neighborhoods. <laughs> In California, a state that overwhelmingly voted against Trump, thousands took to the streets in mostly peaceful protests in cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles. One day when my kids asked me what I was doing, I'm going to tell them I was out here. I'm going to be proud of my country. Far away in Pakistan, there was mixed reaction to the new president. I, I, I don't like Donald Trump. I like, uh, to be very honest, it's not my country, but if you uh, ask me as uh, a neutral person, I don't think he makes sense. Meanwhile, in Manila, worries about how the Philippines' relationship with the U.S. might change under the new president spark modest protests. To voice our opposition, to stand with the people who are inclined to build bridges, not walls, just like the wall that Trump wants to build on America. Back in Washington, there's much more to come. Security officials expect tens of thousands to attend a massive women's march planned for later today. James Aiken, TVB News.